Hello and welcome to YouTube for you. So we are working on our ladder climbing tutorial series and in this tutorial we will improve our ladder climbing functionality. As you guys can see when I move up from ladder my character overlaps the ladder steps as you guys can see from the video and when I reach at the end position my character didn't stop the animation. So first we will fix this issue and later we will also set up the ladder to move down functionality. So let's get started guys. So now let's open our character blueprint and here is our ladder climb move up function. I'm gonna open it up and if our first phrase successfully hit something we also check the impact normal of Z. If the Z is less than 0.1 then we are able to proceed further. Otherwise we reset the can move from ladder to false. So there is an issue we need to set this to absolute value. We will get the absolute value from our Z and then set this to set this to condition. So if the absolute value is less than 0.1 then we are gonna proceed our remaining logic. So now if I play my character did not overlap the ladder steps and properly climb up the ledge or climb by the ladder. As you guys can see my character now properly climb up each ladder step. So for fixing our stop logic when our character successfully reach at the end position I'm gonna break the return function node over here here is our location for next ladder step I'm gonna promote this to a local variable and call this next ladder step location ladder step location like so and I'm gonna call this node when our loop is completed we will then we will return our can move from ladder variable and ladder step location so now if our the if our this condition is true then only our character will perform the ladder climbing so as you guys can see now when i when our character reach at the end position my character stop playing the animation so now for ladder to climb down i'm gonna open a content browser and here is our two animation of ladder to move up from left hand and ladder to move up from right hand. I'm gonna duplicate these two animation and call this ladder move down left hand and duplicate this and call this ladder move down right hand and for ladder move down left hand I'm gonna set the rate scale to minus one and for ladder move down for right hand I'm gonna set the rate scale for this to minus one also now let's open our animation blueprint and here is our ladder to move up functionality here is our two animation from left hand and right hand now I'm gonna grab my ladder move down left hand animation and ladder move down right hand animation into the graph so now I'm gonna open my character blueprint 
and here we have set up our two variables when we ladder to move up when we perform ladder move up functionality similarly I'm gonna create a new variable and call this ladder move down and set these variables over here if we successfully climb down perform the climb down animation then we set the ladder move down variable to true otherwise we will set this to false and also when we release the key we set the variable to false and similarly the changes that we have made into this function we we will also make these changes over here we will take absolute value of z connect this over here and promote this to a local variable and call this ladder step and call the return node when our loop is completed over here now we will open our animation blueprint event crop and here grab our ladder move down variable promote this to a variable like so and from ladder idle I'm gonna perform the ladder move down functionality from right hand if our ladder move down variable is true and and if our ladder variable ladder move down variable is false and time remaining ratio for ladder move instead of move up we need the ladder move down right hand variable into the scene this is the required animation we need to set the conditions for performing this animation for example when our ladder move down variable is true we perform the ladder move down right hand animation if our variable will be false then we will back to the ladder idle pause if ladder move down variable is false and time remaining ratio for ladder move down right hand will be less than 0.2 now let's set the functionality result so here you guys can see when I press S keyboard my character move down so now I'm gonna open my animation blueprint and create two custom events for each of my animation that we have set in our previous tutorial like so when we perform ladder move up right hand animation we will call this function ladder move up right hand I'm gonna copy this name and when we perform the ladder move down right hand animation I'm gonna create a new function custom blueprint event create a new event and call this ladder move down right hand 
and similarly for my ladder move down that and I'm gonna create a new event for this also and call this ladder move down to left hand so from ladder move down right hand I'm gonna go to the ladder move down left hand and from ladder move down left hand to ladder move down right hand and set the condition from ladder move down left hand to idle the power if our ladder move down variable is false and time in ratio for performing the ladder move down left hand animation is less than 0.2 so for these two conditions I'm gonna check if my ladder move down variable is true and my remaining ratio for performing the animation is less than or equal to 0.2 then I'm gonna move to the ladder move down left hand animation and similarly from ladder move down left hand to right hand I'm gonna check if my ladder move down and variable is true and time remaining ratio for animation is less than or equal to 0.2 like so so here is our animation states are properly set up now I'm gonna open my event graph and call the and call these two custom events that we have made I'm gonna search for ladder move down left hand and ladder move down right hand set a branch over here if ladder move down variable is true first I'm gonna open my character blueprint create a new event custom event and call this ladder move down event and connect this over here so for from our animation event graph we will call this event ladder move down event if power this condition is true and now let's set the functionality over here I'm gonna climb up and from there I'm gonna climb down I can properly climb up and climb down from both left and right hand So I hope you guys like this video and in our next tutorial we will implement the ladder to climb up if we reach the end position and ladder to exit up and ladder to exit down if we reach at the end positions from our ladder. So thank you guys. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also support me on Patreon and gain access to all the project files.